guys, Andrew here at Dadverb. So Silver Cross recently launched the Comet. It is a mid-size single stroller. It's priced around that 849 mark. So it's among the, you know, the premium brands like the Upper Cruise, Nuna Mix. That's kind of the field that it's playing in. Uh, now, if you're not familiar, Silver Cross literally made like the first stroller back in the 19th century, and they've remained a premium brand in the stroller world uh, with popular options like the Wave and the Jet. It's a lot more popular in the UK and in Europe, uh, but what caught my attention was the Comet was made specifically for the US market. America! Now, you know that I love the Upper Cruise, Nuna Mix, Mockingbird. Uh, I probably throw a Kaluga Complete in there. Uh, but nothing new has really jumped out at me for 2021 that made me want to review it uh, until now. So the first thing I notice here is just the aesthetics and design. It's you know something that Silver Cross is it's known for. Um, I unboxed this in the midst of reviewing the Evenflow Pivot Expand, uh, and the differences in the build quality and the feel it it's it's very noticeable, guys. Again, this is a mid-size single since you know it doesn't expand to a double. More on that a little bit later. The seat can go from berth up to 55 pounds and everything is already included, so no need to buy any extras. The big thing here is just how the stroller was made uh, to be like an all-in-one solution uh, to use in four ways, obviously forward and rear facing, uh, then with adapters for infant car seats, and then in a full lay flat mode for infants and newborns. I'll mostly be speaking to this from the perspective of being a toddler dad. So you'll mostly be seeing it in rear or forward facing mode but regarding newborns you can use the included baby nest and apron to convert it into a newborn ready stroller uh, and the winter apron is going to be a little bit thicker and more plush for added warmth it connects very easily along the sides and wraps around the crossbar before being magnetically secured it's super clean looking and i think i, I think it's very thoughtfully designed uh, it's a great transition there also built into the back of the footrest is the summer apron, uh, which is going to be a lot lighter and more breathable, uh, similar uh, to the winter option. You know, it, it wraps around the handlebar and it's snapped into place rather than being magnetized. If you'd rather stick with infant car seats, though, you can pick up their car seat adapters, which can adapt to the following car seats. When using this beyond the newborn stage, this seat is solid and offers just better support in comparison to other options like the Even Flow Expand, for example. Uh, the harness is easily adjustable if you need to. You, you can just pop off the, the seat cover uh, and re-thread it as needed. It's not something that we do very often, but you know, know that you can do that. The buckle is magnetic, great ease of use here. This might be a trend that we continue to see uh, in the stroller market down the road. At least I hope so. It is something that I like, the uh, magnetic buckle, it's great. Silver Cross also built out you know, a variety of add-ons for you. You can pick up the Comet Seat Liner, which is ultra soft for added comfort uh, and can be washed, uh, hand washed uh, if it gets messy. So, you know, nice barrier to, to keep that seat fresh. Real quick, the canopy has texturing all along the top uh, and has an extended shade tucked in. So, you know, pretty similar to the previous generations uh, of the UPA strollers. Uh, then at the back, you can reveal for a peep window uh, along with mesh sides for added breathability. The chassis uh, is pretty light in comparison to the seat. The, the seat itself is 10 pounds, while the chassis is only at 16. So they really made the seat a focal point to provide max comfort and support, and they did a great job at that here. Maybe I'm overhyping the seat too much because again, I, I, is this coming off of the heels of reviewing the, uh, the even flow expand and like seeing the price point difference? Like I get it, the hesitation, but like, I don't know, when you're when you're behind the stroller, the, the Comet, you, you kind of get what you pay for, honestly. Moving down, the basket is super deep. It'll definitely be able to tote a fair amount of groceries and large diaper bags. It's specced at a max load of 35 pounds. Now, one thing that I really like though uh, is how the back rim of the basket can be used to kick up over curves, which is something uh, that I actually do often. I actually don't know if that was how it was specifically designed, but that's what I use it for and it works great. At the bottom are your puncture proof tires. Again, uh, with that rose gold detailing on the wheels. I'm like, I was, I was so hesitant to get this thing dirty at first when you unbox it. You're like, wow, this is really nice. I don't wanna mess it up. It's a stroller, you know, it is what it is. But I'm telling you, the design details here, spot on. You got great suspension at the rear and then the front wheels can uh, lock out. Uh, as needed. Uh, the turning and the push of the stroller, it feels great. I, I'd normally comment a little bit more on that, but you know, I don't really have any watch outs. Uh, the push, it's, you know, push feels great. 
At the back is the pedal to engage the brake, and then there's the green button at the top. That's uh, what you use to release it. Now the button is a bit small, and sometimes I feel like I miss it with my shoe. So one note there. To round things out, I'll hit on the handlebar and the fold. It's got a telescoping handle uh, that can adjust to three different positions using only one hand, so convenient there. Uh, one thing I did notice though is that when it is fully extended, uh, it felt a little bit loose. Nothing I, like I ever got concerned about, but there is there is visible movement. To fold, you release the lock with your thumb and then use the triggers on both sides of the stroller to bring it down. This is actually one of the few strollers that I've tested that like wasn't really meant to self stand. Uh, initially, when I started doing that, I rested it uh, on the canopy crossbar, which I learned was a no-no. Uh, that's not how it was really intended to be used. Uh, in most cases, you may just wanna like lean it against the wall uh, if you're ever in the house. Now, I found that when getting it into the trunk of my Civic, it's best to fold it with the seat in rear facing mode or just taking the seat off altogether so that you can get a better fit similar to how you may do it with like the Nuna Mix Next. Now on their site, they've also got a bunch of accessories for you to pick up, including a cup holder, the Eclipse diaper bag, which matches nicely. It's, you know, my wife's a bit of a fan of that one. Uh, and then the Elevate adapters to bring the seat up higher if you'd like to be a little bit closer to baby, especially uh, in that lay flat mode. And then they have a travel bag, ideal for air travel and storage. Uh, it's got wheels at the bottom so that you can just roll it along as needed. Overall, I get it now. I, I understand the hype of Silver Cross. This is like my first time getting my hands on something like this. And my take on it is pretty simple. I think it's legit. It's a premium stroller. And if, if you're in the budget range for here and, and you're sold on it and you came to this video wanting a little bit of, of assurance, you have it. The Comet is a great buy. Again, the only downside here, you know, just being the fold, I wish that it could be a little bit more compact and that could self-stand, but uh, it offers an insanely smooth push, uh, great support, and then most importantly, it offers great comfort for your littles. Guys, everything is linked below. Buying through those links helps support this channel. It's at no additional cost to you guys. Now, what I wanna get into is one thing that I hear often, and it's this debate of buying a single or double stroller, like which is gonna be best for you. And I noticed that some parents might get hung up on their buying decision because whatever they're looking for can't expand to a double. And they think that that's an important feature. And I used to think that that was a really important feature, but over time I learned that it might not be as important as you think. Coming from my own personal experience, we went with the Vista. I've loved it, you know, it's been great, but I can honestly say that we've used the Vista more as a single, uh, way more than we use it as a double. And it's mostly because our older son would have rather walked than sit in a stroller. If we took more trips to like Disney or museums or zoos, if we were more active parents, right? Uh, we probably would have used a double feature a lot more, but uh, in our experience, you know, if we were to go back, we'd probably be pretty happy just settling with a single. Now, this isn't just like regarding like the Silver Cross comment, right? This is for you parents who are considering, you know, all sorts of singles and doubles, you know, from all different brands, right? If you're gonna have kids two to three years apart, just keep in mind that you might actually not need a double or get the most out of paying up to something that can expand to a double. Um, at least, you know, if we were to do it again, that was kind of the case for our kids. Now, if you really did want to double though, Silver Cross does make the wave. I've yet to review that, but that is also a solid option as well. If you found this video helpful, hit that like button down there. It looks like a thumbs up. For more videos and reviews for young families, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video and come back for the next one. God bless. Later.